ever wish you could give like your videos a total makeover? Yeah. We're talking transforming a home video into something like straight out of Hollywood. Yeah, totally. Well, buckle up because Runway Gen 3 AI can pretty much do just that. This AI can take any 10 second video clip and remake it in all kinds of visual styles. Think turning a home video into like a, a gritty film noir or a slick anime. It's really remarkable what's possible now. I mean, this used to be something only those big budget studios could do, you know? Oh, totally. I mean, we're talking tech that would even impress George Lucas. Yeah. And um, to break it all down, we dove into this YouTube tutorial by AI Motion Studio. They actually walk you through using Runway Gen 3. And spoiler alert, yeah. it is surprisingly easy. Yeah, and it's a great example of how much easier these powerful AI tools are becoming for just like the average person to use. For real. So how does it actually work? Well, you start on the Runway website. It's super clean and intuitive. You log in, and then you just go to Generative Video, upload your 10-second clip, and that's where the real fun begins. You get to choose your style. They've got tons of options. Oh, cool. Like what? Well, they've got 3D cartoon, dramatic. I mean, they have a bunch, and each one has these little example videos so you can get a feel for what it would look like. So you're not just, like, slapping on a filter. It's actually like reinterpreting the footage. Exactly. It's yeah. analyzing like the movement, the colors, the whole vibe of your clip. It's like having your own visual effects team at your beck and call, basically. Wow, that's wild. Speaking yeah. of limitations, that 10 second limit, right? Seems like a big one. Yeah, that definitely stands out. But actually the tutorial creator, uh, they found a pretty clever workaround using a video editing tool called CapCut. They basically split a movie trailer into these smaller chunks to get around the time limit. Pretty smart, actually. So it's like they're hacking the system to make longer videos. That's really clever. Yeah. Makes you wonder, though, what's next? Like, will we ever be able to just feed a whole movie into Runway Gen 3? I know, right? Now that's an exciting thought. And honestly, who knows with how fast this technology is moving. Could be sooner than we think. It really feels like we are on the edge of like a whole new world of filmmaking. And it's not just about like recreating stuff, right? Oh, absolutely not. This tech could uh, like give anyone the power to make a movie. Exactly. I mean, imagine all these people with amazing stories just waiting for the right tools to get them out there. This levels the playing field. You know, it's no longer about who has the most expensive equipment or connections. It's about, you know, the stories themselves. That's what's so cool. It's like all you need now is a smartphone and a good story. Yeah. And you can make something incredible. Yeah. It's like think about independent creators. This is huge for them. It's a way to, you know, get around the traditional ways of doing things and finally get their work seen. And what kind of stories are we going to see now, right? Like, will this spark totally new genres or visual styles? Right. Who knows? I'm kind of excited to see what people come up with, though we do have to think about, you know, the downsides as well. This tech is powerful and we have to consider things like, mm -hmm. like how it impacts jobs. Oh, for sure. Like, are we even going to need those big visual effects teams anymore? If anyone could just, you know, create movie magic on their laptop. Right, it's a valid question. But I think instead of seeing it as like AI replacing humans, we should maybe look at it as an opportunity for them to work together, you know? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Imagine filmmakers and AI like teaming up they could use these tools to, you know, enhance their vision. Totally. I mean, that's probably going to be how it happens at first, right? And then who knows where it goes from there. That's what's really interesting to me. It's like, yeah, the tech is cool and all, but it's how we actually use it that really matters. Exactly. It all comes down to the stories we decide to tell. So it really does feel like we're entering like a whole new era of filmmaking, one that's full of potential but also, you know, a whole lot of unknowns. Totally. And that's the beauty of it. I mean, who knows what we're going to be able to create even a year from now. The possibilities are limitless, really. Well, that about wraps up our deep dive into Runway Gen 3. It's definitely got us thinking about the future of film. For sure. It's a really exciting time to be into this stuff. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a sudden urge to transform my pet iguana into a space ranger. See you all in the next deep dive.